Hello everyone. To, uh, today I'm going to show you how to map uh, urban growth or urban expansion uh, from multiple, uh, which is created from built up area from multiple years. So I'm going to use from 1990 to 2020, uh, which five years interval between that. I'm going to use area of Jakarta, uh, which is the biggest city. Uh, so we can map uh, its expansion you know, year per year. So I'm going to use uh, both Landsat 4, 5, and 7 uh, for TM collection. And so I'm going to use Landsat 8 and 9 uh, collection. Uh, for Landsat 5 and 5 and 7, I'm going to use it for from 90 to 2010 and while and that. And for Landsat 8 and 9, I'm going to use it for uh, year 2015 to 2020. So I'm going to use Cloud Mask uh, and Cloud must uh, forward for, for each uh, type of imagery as uh, 547 you're gonna use as a must tm without the zeros mass and one uh, consumer only or as i can nine code masking we're gonna use uh, the code masking one uh, code masking with zeros okay so the first thing is that uh, we're gonna map uh, your your data so this year list we're gonna map it remember uh, this year you don't map it so we're gonna Make it start a date, then we're gonna select the function to put a composite. Now we do gonna do scaling, gonna show the image. Let's see, let's show the image first, I think. Okay, let's show the image first for each year. Maybe I'm gonna show you uh, the image, right? I'm gonna use Landsat 1990 and Landsat 2020. This is for Landsat 1990. Let's see, it's running. Or oh, 1990, quite dark, that's fine. The urban area is this area, you know, the blue one, the blue greenish one, this urban area. And for the 2020, it's going to be this area. It's, it's quite bigger. Much bigger. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, it's going to cover uh, more area. So you can see the different, right? The sharp contrast and between years, it's going to be like that too. And what we're going to do is that uh, next is going to create an uh, index. So to index we can create, you can uh, create a uh, uh, normal different build up index. Then you're gonna create a uh, normal different uh, wet water index. So the wet index is important to so we can defend uh, the building because sometimes uh, water also considered NDBI a uh, build up index. So that's why we need our index to differentiate between water and build up. And I think we can run it to see the, see the what's what I mean. So this is the NDBR, right? So you can take it a bit. I see. Water is also considered uh, high NDBI, or while it's not actually, it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's supposed to be right. And this is the MNDBI, so the index. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the we're gonna mass the water one. After that, we're gonna get the building one. Yeah, that's right. Ah, so for that, uh, we can create build up, build up uh, area with which we create is created from NDBI above uh, minus uh, zero point one, and NDBI is above uh, uh, lower than zero. And then you get a soft mass and the, the clip to the area. Let's see the, the result. For example, this twenty twenty. Ah, this is the twenty twenty, right? We can also show the build up four hundred ninety. What we need first? That is four hundred ninety. It's much smaller, right? Uh, for the build up, and then this for the 220. See, quite bigger. So the expansion is big. Uh, now what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna create a map on which I can show uh, on what year did does the does the expansion begin? You know, uh, which to create, which the expansion uh, coming up for each year. So I create the legend here, right? Uh, for 90 is is uh, purple, and for 2005 is green, and for uh, 2020 is red. Uh, what I'm, I think the result will be like this, you know. So we can see that the, the purple one is the beginning of 90. Uh, so you can see that now if the blue one is been expansion in 1995, and for the 1000 is going to be uh, cyan color, 2005 is green color, etc., etc., and until the final one is red for 2020. Now, uh, for the script that I'm using, I'm going to use this simple script. So for all the image we create, right, from with up, we're going to return. The value return the build up with where the value of the build up 
is the for each image is the year. Uh, you see here, right? Uh, the year we're gonna use from this function, which is from, well, it's coming from this year list. So each image or build up uh, value is determined by the year. So we're gonna return the image. Now for that, uh, we're gonna simple. Actually, we're gonna use a uh, reduce uh, minimum value. The reduce mean. So it's only return the minimum value. So if uh, if it's show up in 90, you're going to use at 90. So if you also show up in 2020, it will show up as 2020. But instead, you're going to show up at, at uh, 1990. So that's, I think, how the, it works. Huh. Maybe this is the map that you're looking at. So it's very simple. This purple one is the original area in 90. And this... Uh, it's going to take a bit. <laughs> take time, I guess. And the red one here, right, as you can see here, and the top one is new. So it just created in 2021, 2020. And the orange one is shown in 2015. This is 2015, right? So we can see that the difference, you know, uh, the growth of each area. For example, small purple, orange, yeah. So as you can see that uh, with, uh, with new year yet, or with latest uh, data, you can see that it's grown a bigger you know, is expand uh, to the south, to the west, and to the east. So that's how it works for Jakarta. Okay, maybe we also want to see a difference the area, right? Uh, so I think for each image, uh, for each year, we create the area using a image pixel area. So we're gonna return it uh, as a collection too. Then we're gonna to make a, a chart. Create a chart. I'm gonna create a chart <coughs> like this. On which I'm gonna select the area one, it reduce the value, which is sum, you know. Then we create a chart. This is the result. You can see here, which is from 1990, you know, it's about 100 million hectare of urban area. On which it's in 2020, it's gonna be about, is that correct? It's about 300, so it's grow tripled. That's tripled size. And also, I create the legend too uh, using a UI panel here. As you can see here, so the color is determined which in the color before I set on for the visualization. So 90, 20. Yeah, I know it's kind of complicated for the script, but actually it's very simple if you understand the, what what the function of each. It's very simple. It's going to use only 100, uh, 130 lines. Very simple. So if you're going to use it, yeah, just use it. Fine. Yeah. So that's it. So that's the output. Uh, so you get the map. Map. You can export the map if you want. Uh, you can export this one. Uh, this uh, urban expansion one. This one. So make sure that you, you want to export the image. You can use urban expansion one. Uh, if you want to export data, just click here and then download the GSV. So that's it uh, for uh, mapping uh, urban expansion. Uh, over the years, thank you. Using Landsat imagery from 1990 to 2020 in Jakarta area. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.